Today we're going to replace the valve cover gaskets on the 12 valve. I've been putting it off for some time, but now it's leaking all over everything and it's making a mess. So I got these from Cummins. They're made in India. They feel like pretty good quality though. So let's get started. Ryan Little. Well, we just left the slider window open with a bed full of sand and debris. And anybody who's done that knows it gets vortexed right back into the cab of the truck. Now we got a sandbox on the dashboard. Touch free. Better not touch my truck. Let's film this here. We got another one coming in, huh? Yeah. have to have a conversation with this yeah, guy. Right. You have to let it wax. It's like wax. <laughs> you have to let it low pressure free soap. You have to let it soap. You have to let it rinse. Ask him about it. Fish you can do, I didn't expect that. <laughs> no, just, just don't touch salt. Yeah, yeah. I, oh, listen, this year vehicle up there is completely gone in the box. Yeah, buddy. Leaks no more. <laughs> Got your lunch lady gloves? Got my lunch lady gloves. Because old Rotella is some sticky stuff and it gets up in your fingernails and ain't nobody got time for that. Nine, six, six. So we're gonna get it all cleaned up and we'll uh, put it back together. Yep. At least when we uh, check the valve lash, we'll have some fresh gaskets to work with and a little bit cleaner working environment under the hood. So are you gonna dip these in gasoline? Uh, How are you gonna clean these? Well, yeah, I'll give them a little scrub with some, some gas or something just to get the crud off of there for next time so it's a little bit cleaner, but you can see 20 year old gaskets uh, got a little hard. Special Agent X here. Break down some of this grease. 
nothing too fancy, just no sense of fighting old crud, putting it back together again. You know, they didn't do a very good job. It's almost like they painted them on the on the engine or something. Didn't even cover the, the whole thing. See, this is why I wouldn't trust getting the used oil, that that reclaimed oil stuff they sell at Advanced. Because clowns like me are probably just gonna pour this in the oil jug and dump it in the recycled oil thing. Some nasty stuff. Anyways, John. Why can't we just show the valves off? Oh, they like to be covered. You know, the old, early cars, Model T's and stuff, weren't all the, the rocker arms and everything exposed on them? Uh, and they had like grease fittings and stuff? I don't know, Joe. Did I mean, I, I don't know back then if oil made its way up into the head or anything. Like, I don't know you know, how those early ones worked. I know there's a lot of exposed moving things. Got the covers cleaned up. Uh, putting the last gasket when they fit on, right in the little groove. Push it in. Can't get much easier than that. All right, so Joe just finished up the valve cover gaskets. They're looking really good. Yeah, hopefully no more smells of uh, burning oil when I'm making trips back up to Pennsylvania. Uh, the next thing that needs addressed is I'm losing refrigerant every time I fill it up. It goes back into the ozone, so I have to figure where that's going. And there will be a video soon on checking valve lash because that needs done on this truck. Uh, steering stabilizer. I have the uh, steering shaft bushing kit from uh, Rock Solid Rams I bought a couple years ago and now I'm finally going to put that on, try and take some of that play out of the steering wheel. So between that, the steering stabilizer. Hopefully the steering wheel is not so sloppy anymore. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, and stay tuned for the next project. <music>